welcome back to another episode of Star Bane Alpha and the Schwine. You're playing Stonarth again, and as you can see by the fact that I tried to start the intro, we're in the new Alpha. This time we're in the Alpha 17 Steam Test Branch, or as it says up here, the Steam or the test version. Now, Alpha 17 is based around making the building better. Actually, what is, what are they saying? What what is the subtitle for the Alpha? Let's read it. Alpha 17, building a bigger and better Stone Earth. They had a couple of things. One, they made the EI getting around building stuff better. Two, they made it so you can queue up, basically. You know when you tried, you know when I showed you in Alpha 17 we were building the houses? Um, the houses two, yes, the houses two villages ago? Or two, um, two Duracell ago, I think. Remember how I placed those? Remember how I placed those beds? Well, now that's been now that's been improved. Basically, not only can you place that stuff, but you can place it. Basically, the items you can see are not just the items you can see that you currently have. You can see any item that any crafter can make that you have that you have currently. As in, if you have a Carpenter and a weaver, you can see their items. Oh, no, 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 let's try. The weavers don't have much stuff. Uh, a carpenter and a, uh, carpenter and the person that works with stones. Uh, you can see their stuff. Even if they're not ready to build it yet, you can still see it. And if you get rid of one, as in something happened and you have to get rid of that stone builder guy, then you will still see it because your town unlocked those items. And basically, when you build that building, they would now be queued up to build with the building. That's been in the game, yeah. But what's changed is the fact that now it tells you what stuff is missing in building the building with those items. And not only that... No, I'm actually going to read it. Uh, uh, that's actually basically it. Pretty much. And you can, like, basically, if you have tons of items laying around, you can just queue them up for buildings, or even, or even, uh, like, let's say you just started this new town, you have a carpenter, and you want to and you want to build a building, and you want to place a building with beds in it. You can do that, because your carpenter already has beds in the schematic. Uh, and then whenever your carpenter bakes, makes those beds, they'll actually bring you to the, uh, barrack, or bring you to the building, which is pretty cool. Not only that, this update also added the engineer glass, which is, they're finally adding, which is something that, they, which is something that was actually in the Kickstarter, the engineer uh, concept art, which I may be able to find and put in the video. Probably right there. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, not only that, also, uh, and engineers are basically meant, uh, they're, they're promoted from level 2 Brexmith, and they need a range from a level 6 Brex Blacksmith. And basically, they can make turrets and turrets and defense and other defensive weapons, but mostly turrets. Like the one that you see in the concept art is he's actually making a bear trap with an apple inside, and he's poking the apple to put it right to make sure it's ever so centered. That's all in this update. Uh, and this is just the test. This is just the scene test branch, mind you. Uh, not only that is that you can make statues which do something. Yes, um, basically, now, now you're, actually, you know what? Well, actually, before going to that part, I can show you off right when you get in the game if the game's still compatible, which you just say it's compatible, so it's compatible. Actually, you know what? I'll say that for when you get in the mat, uh, for we, for when you get in the game. Alright, as you can see, we're in develop 2998, that uh, Alpha 17 was another patch. This is the patch after that. The patch after this is just bug fixing more or less, right? Yeah, just bug fixing more or less, right? Alright, well, I think explain everything you need to explain. Uh, if you want any more background information, this up Tuesday should help you there. And um, let's go. Oh, yes, I should also mention, but we can do this in the link screen. I'm not using the X story. And I kind of like it. 
It still, a, it just still has a silly drawback of not being able to record desktop, but I got fraps for screenshotting desktop. I got shadow play for recording this flop, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so it should come up. Oh, look, it says the, the uh, patch notes up here. Now, that's pretty cool. Oh, yes. Also, um, if you don't want your people to be uh, placing stuff into a building, uh, placing furniture into a building, you can just turn it off from around here. Nope. Mm -mm. Yes, right here. What? Okay. All IQ crafting for building. When starting construction on a building, all furniture and fixtures for that building are automatically queued by your respective crafters. Oh, I see. Oh, that's how it's different than what's been in the game before. Okay, I get it now. Basically, that means it will automatically tell your crafters to make it if, you, if they can make it. Right, got it. And if they can't make it, then you get it put in the building. Also, what's cool is when the building's on construction and it runs out of goods, it will actually, actually have a little thing above it saying, Oh, by the way, uh, I need wood or stone or something. Which is also pretty cool, okay? Well, anyway, um... Super, uh... Simple speed. Oh, yes, um... A friend asked me, uh, she was watching one of my videos, and she asked me, uh, why do I have my resources so far out from my town when they can be closer? Mostly the trees when I was laying them down in the last video. Um, the reason why I do that is just out of habit. Uh, in my last town, in Dirt's World number 43, we are Dirt's World 44, right? Uh, I did have a tree farm right there, but I wanted to repopulate this, so I repopulated it. And then we'll probably put trees, like, right here, maybe, uh, that are closer, or over there, where closer in a row. But I just want to repopulate that, and then we'll worry about it later. Also, the, oh, yes, uh, and she wanted to see what's inside of these, uh, crates. Yeah, we'll be doing that shortly. Uh, it looks like the zombies are dying. Yeah, the zombies are dying. You know what? No speed. Okay, let's see how well footmen can do against uh, giant zombies. Okay, uh, everyone actually guard the location of... Oh, cool. That was you exactly what you need to guard. That's new. Okay, red team, go over there. Or red squad. We shall attack by night. We would never do. If you click on this, no, let's tell you. But yeah, they're also working on the editor, making it better, as well as um, working on the pathfinding to make building well. Let's find well make building actually complete buildings, but that's just a pathfinding issue. Uh, so yeah. Alright, Red Squall is now in position. Are you going to get something to eat? That's fine. Come back out there and then we'll worry about it later. Actually, I could just have him but I could just have him sit right here because all the enemies either come from there or over there, so that would work. No, four times speed. Oh yeah, also beds are owned by people now. See? Assign, o assign owner. Assign this object to a new owner. So you wanted this specific person at a specific house, then you're good. Alright, squall. Right, make the little speed. Bear, move out toward e toward e uh, uh, that way. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a compass of some type. Or at least a map with that is north, that is west, that is east. Alright, well, we can't take it at night, but that's fine. Alright, squall. Bear, move out. And tag the John Zombie before it dies of old age. Uh, actually, just go. Just go. Oh. They make sounds. Okay. Here comes Witch Squad. Right, here they come. Can he go to those trees? Yeah. Um, Red Squad, there you go. Okay, but he did do a silver damage to our guy. Open, great. Open the... Oh, that's cool. Uh, what, silver? 
Silver. Small hidden tonic and more silver. Uh, tin and copper. Not bad. All right, well, that's good. All right, Red Squad. Dismiss. Turn to normal. Patrols. Oh, look, they're using their moles. Nice. Yeah, so three foot make it take on giant zombies. No, well, with a little bit of problem, if we extrapolate the fact that the one or two hits that the giant zombie got into one of our guys, it took up a sort of health. The zombie was on less of a third of a health, uh, and we were able to defeat it with ease. So it would hurt engaging a giant zombie, but it would not to kill us. Oh yeah. Oh. Those are changing shortly. Oh, yeah, something about the farms, too. She asked about the farms. Um, yeah, the farms. Um, we need more farmers, but we don't have farmers to spare. Yeah, we don't have farmers to spare. Yeah, once we... I uh, wasn't get two farmers, this should work. I mean, our people are not starving. We're just not getting new people, so it's fine for right now. I mean, we... It's very much just will sustain us until, well, we can, uh... Well, until we can get four farmers. Or two farmers, I mean. Okay, four times speed. Yeah, by the way, the event I was talking about should have occur uh would normally occur second day. So we'll see if that occurs in the second day, uh even if I continue to save. And if it does not, I will just tell you what it is uh, at the end of the video. Oh my word, I forgot to hit record. Okay, that's gonna be bad. Uh, I'm just going to guess I've been talking for five minutes. See how right I am. You all make me know how right I am, but I don't. Ah, ah, ah. One more than I need. Alright, there we go. My bad. It's too cute to play stone ours. Alright, what you got? Stone stuff, we don't need. Guy, can we sell you anything? Pause. We can sell you saplings, but I don't want to sell saplings right now. I don't want to sell you anything. We're using it all. Alright, five times speed. Speaking of saplings, since we have reforested that area, more or less. Where are my saplings? Oh, there they are. Actually, we could put the saplings here since the plants are right there, the wood piles there. You know what, let's just place the saplings here then. Oh, there's not a lot of room, but it should be fine. I want to place them in rows, but be careful, but be mindful of stuff around it because, well, we know that these trees can really grow if there's stuff around it all the way. Have right there. Okay, do they can grow into their full potentials? Oh yes, uh, yes. I'm using the X story now. Uh, I think I'm liking it. It's not bad. That miss fraps, but the X story has separate audio, which you have to extract out the video, and then I have to put another folder, which is the same folder I put my. Uh, Audacity files in, which is not too bad, I guess, but yeah, I mean, it's a fixed process, it's not that bad. I'm making it way worse than it actually is. Uh, however, no desktop recording is kind of set, but then again, I got shadow play for video, and perhaps can still take screenshots to the sign, so I can just use it for that. Um. But yeah, I mean, once you once you get the story running, and once you get something to allow it to have video spy, spy, uh, video files about uh, a tenth the size of what it is usually, because I know well that I know well the story I know the story uh video file is about I want to say um is about I want to say ten gigabytes for a minute. And then this one is one gigabyte for per minute, which is much better. Okay, what you got? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, but once the barracks gets done, which is almost done, we just have stuff in the town. All right. So what do we need to level up our people so we don't die by enemies? 
I mean, what other, is all the drawing zombie, zombie back? No good, because we got stuff over there we need picking up. Oh, another reason why my resources is all spread out is because I'm just more used to it from the older patches. Given approaches. And the fact that sometimes I used to start on, uh... And the fact that I used to sometimes start on, uh, mountains. And in order to get trees, you have to go way far away. Uh, but when we caravan... The caravan, the caravan approaches! Hello, there's well number 44. I come bearing goods for trade. Would you like to give me five hunk of stones in exchange for one fire pit? Sure. Oh, wait. Five hunks of stone. How many do we have now? Uh, I can go digging. I can go mining right now. How about that? Um, okay, so we're doing the start of mine. Uh, fantastic. Um, actually, I know a place to start mine. Hello, right there. I mean, that's not going to be very deep as that stage of the map, but it's close enough to start. And five hunks of stone should be easy to get by just mining into a wall. I used to make pit mines, but yeah. Or mine shafts, I should say, but it doesn't quite work that way. It is, no, it's not the easiest thing. Okay, and we want it on, we want it to come with something center of the ladder if we can try. Uh, we can always move the ladder later. How about right there? That you do it. Oh, by the way, if you dig into dirt, I believe you get dirt. So, yeah. Until you go down to the stone level and get actual stone. Actually, you can just get tons of stone from, from all from whatever place. How long do we have? It's one fire pit, so it might not be that long. Oh, we doesn't say. Fine. Wait, do we have a, do we have a fire pit now, then? Did we take what we had? No. But, yeah, tone overview. Um, As you can see, we got... Agri oh, agriculture is a thing now? Agriculture, a value of farming fields and pastures in your town. Each plant crop and each pasture animal contribute, contributes this to the score, which is nice. Uh, that's our net worth. How much our town is worth. Yeah, uh, net worth really means something now as opposed to just getting new people. Inventory, the gold value of all non resource and non able items in the town, inventory and buildings. Buildings, the value of all buildings constructed in, uh, constructed your town. Wait. Value of all buildings constructed your town. Uh, I believe that mean I believe that should be the value of all buildings constructed in your town. Or consist, or all, all the buildings in, all the buildings consisting of your town. Large buildings will have a slightly higher s score Contributes and small ones. Don't barrack spam. Basically. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just some saplings now. Yeah, saplings are always the thing that you just stockpile because you don't plant them every single two seconds. Uh, right. So actually, hold it. I want to figure out what I'm doing in order to not die or in order to not lose progress. You need to start crafting more stuff. Like, like, right, like yesterday. Uh, how close are you to leveling up to what level is required? Okay. What level is required? Four. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. You're three, and how close are you? Yeah, almost halfway. Uh, not even halfway, because you need to be 230 in order to be halfway, and you're 195. We'll be halfway if you have 400, but you're not. Alright, uh, we could always do with more windows, or we can start selling stuff. Oh my. Oh, we did get a fire pit, didn't we? Okay, we did, he did trade us stuff. Okay, so we don't need the mine. Actually, let's keep the mine because that's a good spot. Not using it for anything anyway. So we got hunk of stuff from somewhere else then. Uh, how much wood do we have? Not a lot, I would assume. Using my arp that took pile, but that's all we can see there. Oh, we got plenty of wood. Um, 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 um what could you build? Oh, uh, I guess more beds. We could always sell them if we don't need them. Bam. Play more beds, sure. And then just my little spam. Because I love these things. Uh, 
That should do it, I think. Weaver. Oh, great. You can craft thick level or fest. Who can wear this? Oh, level one footman. If I'm reading that right. Yeah, I'm reading that right. Uh, make five of these. Yes, make five. Oh, that'd be all our level leather, though. But, we're, but we have a trapper. It's fine. Make five of these. Pad vest, defense three, four. Yeah, we we're going to skip the padded vest. We don't need it. I might as well read this. Uh, I think we'll over this. Hard leather provides sturdy protection against light weapons. Quiver, we really need him right now. So I think right now, from you, you. Uh, are you keeping these in inventory? You are not. Keep them in inventory until we get more bandages. Yeah, you need inventory. Uh, how much do you need? One? Yeah, level one. How close are you to being level one? I wish you could see the XP bar somewhere on this screen. Be nice. Oh. Come on, how much experience you get for getting stuff. So, uh, just keep checking in inventory because that's what I've been doing. Oh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So, yeah. Bam. Alright, are they, uh, done constructing the, uh, the barracks? Can I be? Yeah, and all those windows are done. Alright. So now we can start, now we can, once the barracks is all filled out. Ooh, I know the carpenter can build that we need. Not only beds to fill up the barracks, but tables and chairs. So when we make, when we make another barracks, we can add those to the queue. Left it, we'll get to you in a second. Uh, table for one, no. Dining table, yes. Four would be fine. And then four times four is 28, I think. Yeah, I don't know why multiplication tables. Neither does my mom. Neither does my sister. So, yeah. I mean, oh, yes, yeah. I mean, oh, yes, oh. Uh. I mean, just, they were, I, I tried to learn them. They're, I just, with ADD, it's kind of hard to learn stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and besides, I got my own way of dealing with it, which is the long, hard way, but it's my way, so it is mine, uh, and it works for me. Are the big zombies back yet, or are they going to stay down? No, oh, they're not back yet. See, that is now repopulated. I feel better now, although, again, they're all oak trees, which is weird. Okay. Hey, we're getting trees there, but these are but these are our confirmed tree farm. A caravan approaches. I'll get to you in a second. Um, I got you know the thing about berry bushes is they change nearly every patch more or less, whether uh you know how often they regrow their berries. So it's very hard to you know it's fair to it's fair to hardcore that we just you gotta be paying attention. Uh. Did I leave that pine alive or something? Yeah, not, actually, yeah, I did leave that pine alive. Um, let's hope that these big zombies don't respawn. Because, yeah, enemies, enemy placement, uh, enemies that have buildings like crates and villages, then they respawn. And that seems fun. Over and over and over again. Not unless, of course, they changed it, which is entirely possible. Okay, we need to get these, and we're good. Alright, caravan. Okay, my approach is, hello, there's rule number 44. I got bearing goods for trade. Would you like to give me one basket of berries in exchange for one cathedral art chairs? Um, we kind of need those berries for a eating and, well, we don't need them for eating anymore. We're good. Uh, but we need them for attracting people to our town. But a cathedral art chair will do the same with wealth. As well as we'll attract back. Oh. I will say yes to that game. I don't know why I would need an arch chair, but it would be nice to have in case I need an arch chair. Okay, speaking of arch chairs, which have no relation to anything, uh, 
let's lower the walls and start playing more uh, beds. I guess we can put the fire pit inside the barracks, which is not unheard of. I mean, Native Americans did it, Vikings did it. So yeah. Okay, click on this uh, bed. And we're gonna do that same on the other side. Yeah, I really make a blueprint where I basically, uh, well, make a blueprint of this so I don't have to manually put the beds in every single time anymore. I can always turn off the auto thing if I need not or people to make beds, which in the combat updates would make sense. Herbalist level one, yay! Now I can make bandages. Spirits from them. Uh, give me a second. I'm facing beds. Which are not as important, actually. Okay, now I forgot. So, uh, yeah. Bam, and herbalist. Ah, uh, this thing is so much convenient. So, if I can go find stuff. Okay, now I want these Captain Tens. And don't worry about the healing potions. Uh, unless, of course, they're used for anything. Because we are, okay, we're using that, but we're not really using that. And we're, we won't be getting damaged all that often, so it's fine. Uh, you don't need to keep these in 10 anymore. I, I don't think we, uh-oh. Yeah, it's removed. Question mark. We don't need potions for anything, do we? We don't. Cleric Stone, we'll be using that in the future. We need Everless Level 2. Ooh, only Everless Level 2 to do that? I hint. I, I, you know, I, I had the feeling that I might want. I, I kind of want. Ah, that's why we need. Uh, that's who we need to talk to in order to trigger the event, which I wanted to talk about. Um, we could start spamming healing potions and wraps to sell. Oh, we can start spamming. We can start spamming these because I'm not using flowers for anything else other than making those, maybe. And maybe flower beds, but. So, yeah. Uh, have a good 15. Uh, just to get your level up. And make them after you make the 10 of that. Alright, let's go talk to the Royal Her Herald. Who is now Mystery Man. Domeral Amen Rim Rimlold. Who oh, there? This is a new settlement that they're told in the 44? Alright, now we got two options. That's us, or welcome, my lady. They, they need to win? Adrian? Or Edwin Wim, Wimdeld? Or Wim... Them? I thought, yeah, Wim Them. Adrian Wim Them. Edwin Wim Them. That sounds like a guy name, but oh well. Let's be, uh, let's be nice. Welcome, my lady. Excellent. Monsieur Berlian said that you'd be out here. But it's always a bit touch and go in the early days. Sh uh, shall we get started? Uh, we got one option. Started with what? Adrian. Adrian. Wormdeld. By the order of Princess Diana, First Lady of the Ascendancy, and in whom's... And in whom... Whose nemesis you settle, and with the blessings of the Church of Plenty, in whose wisdom we all prosper. Yes, we have heard the Church of, Pl Church of, Church of Plenty. They were part of the um. Wait, was it the Christmas one or was it the Thanksgiving one? Was that a Thanksgiving one? That was not a Thanksgiving one. Yeah, the Christmas one. Um. Uh, Frost Beast, yes, Frost Beast. Uh, basically, Church of Plenty basically came to your doorstep asking for stuff in order to give you stuff. Basically, you are helping out the poor, and if you refuse them, well, they would say you... <laughs> they will they will lightly imply that you are a bad person because you didn't help them help the people that they are helping with your supplies. Or the stuff that you give them. Uh, and Themesis. I think I know that word... Like, it's premise. Is it supposed to be premises? No, it can't be premises. That's like. 
your house, your land. No, just your house, your mansion, something like that, but a building. Not that, because we're in the lands of, apparently, Princess Diana, the Ascendancy. So we're still part of the kingdom, okay. This is not, um, uh, what was that game? It's not that one game that came out a couple of years ago that people really liked. Um, it was a more realistic Ta I was, well, it was a more realistic version of, like, a game like this. Um, I, I, I forgot what it is, but a yeah, more realistic version of this. Uh, but basically you were outcasts. So apparently we're not outcasts, we're just selling, uh, somewhere else in the kingdom, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, we got two options. Well, a, a proclamation, the, or... Star dot. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be excited. Yes, our nation. Uh, yes, our nation is talking to us. We should perk up our ears and stand up straight and say, "Yes, they're talking to us." Yes, directly. They sent a person to tell us stuff. By the way, the honorable also means that attain local re renown will hereby be organized as official. Uh, official ascendancy townships with the rights, privileges, and rewards thereof. Got two options, huh? Rewards? Uh, what was rewards? So yeah, this is the thing. Uh, I'll let her explain. By the way. Uh, Adrian Liedem. Indeed, the knowledge of the kingdom cannot be randomly dispersed into the wilderness to fall prey to goblins or wolves. However, by the prince's order, eligible towns shall win access to agricultural learning and wealthier caravans for trade. Okay, oh, we got one option. Okay, what comes next? Which, by the way, we have multiple options for once. The honorable. You may gain sufficient renown to advance to township in three... In, in any of three ways, military glory, favor with the church, or approval of the craftmasters. Which sounds most interesting to you? Church. Oh, is that going to work? Military. We know that works. Craftmasters. Uh, crafting stuff. Uh, yeah, we're going to... Uh, let's go military. Yes. Okay, this is the new thing in Alpha 17, which we will continue doing all this stuff in Alpha 18, by the way. I didn't actually say that. But yeah, uh, you can now basically build statues or something uh, to each of these three, and your town will get renowned uh, and stuff. But we're going military. Um, but the Honorable Edwin Reedem. Mini, mini L's and E's, or mini L's and W's and Y's. To gain renown with the Order of the Kid, you must display courage and valor. I shall give your mason the recipe. Request for the agreement your agreements to craft a monument worthy of your swordsman. Okay, you got two options. How else how else can I gain renown or sounds good? I'm going with house. Oh, okay, we will, we can choose the other option. Um that's that's the question I asked. Church? How's that gonna work? Oh, uh be, I just read the first three words. Uh four words I should say. Yeah, the church plenty and frost feast. They were, you know, basically you gave them stuff. So maybe they want us to give us stuff here. Now that I think about it. By the way, the church, of, the church of plenty. Oh, Ad Adrian, read them. The church of plenty asks those with much to give to those in need. I shall give you. I shall give recipes to your mason and your cook. Build a wayside shrine to watering kid, and I shall be back to collect its donation to those in greater need. Alright, we got two options. We can do that, or how else can I gain renown? Alright, so, cook. Cook, 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 cook. I was trying to build a cook in Dirt Zone 34, but it didn't really work. Uh, we ran we ran out of alphas. Or, we ran out of, um, well, we uh, ran out of the alpha. So, how else can I gain renown? Craftmasters. Do all Craftmasters honor those with an eye for excellence? Give your mason, or have your mason create a statue in these... Accepting specifications and aid their friend, the aid of their friends, and you shall impress them. All right, got two options: Basin's Ho or Hell's gonna in renown. It seems like the most straightforward one. Yeah, it seems like they want us to build statues and stuff. 
to the ascendancy and church will we will donate stuff to the church military not quite sure oh military we gotta collect stuff and mason we gotta build something mason seems the easiest to do but we'll go military just because that's what we've been doing ever since they had combat so yeah military Okay, I wish I kind of told you what you actually needed for this, but maybe that's part of the mystery, plus it's beta. Or, and plus it's an alpha for an alpha, well it's a beta for an alpha, so. Alright, sounds good. Down will Edwin read them. Excellent, in, in addition to... <clears throat> Excellent, in addition to appropriate monument, your town, will also, your town will also need to have accumulated a certain level of wealth. A worth. I shall leave the requirements with you. Should you wish to consult with them again, or should a different path come to appeal than your initial chosen ro road? Okay, that's fine. Thank you, my lady. The Honorable Adrian wrote them. Since bounty, since bounty be upon you, dear soul number 44, I shall leave you a bird. You may summon me to elevate your uh, true out. <clears throat> Let's try that again. So you may summon me to evaluate your progress. Farewell. The Honorable. Miss Honorable. Alright, what do we need out of it? You're pausing us time. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, that's basically you just flat accepting something. Uh, you can go back and read this all you want. Um, well, what do we need? We need a mason first. That's what we need. We do not have a mason. We don't have enough people. This for township. Ah. Okay, that's time. All right, quest for township. Satisfy any of the following requirements to qualify your township status. All right. Since file bill a place and value of said, attain net worth four thousand. Teach a plenty. Build in place, trying to plenty, uh, team net worth 6,000, or crafters approval. Build in place, the guild master, a team net worth 5,000. Alright, apparently Sid is their deity here. And, well, it's in the sentence because the, ch the children of Bria? Bria? Uh, the red people, well, um. Uh, uh, they might, they are, they are totally different than the Sensei, uh, as we could see by the fact that in the post for Frost Feast, they said, oh, you might want to play as a Sensei because, uh, the children don't actually celebrate Frost Feast in that way. So, yeah, and as you can see, each individual thing has different values. Uh, she plenty has more, because it's harder to get, uh, crafters, and maybe just, it's nicer, crafters, medium, again, might be harder to get, and then value is 4,000. Probably easiest to get by weight. That's good. Nope. 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 Oh. Okay, so oh we need oh we don't get this. We have to have this in order in this is our requirement. Right, okay. Got it. Substantial. Right, got it, got it, got it. All right, so we were able to see it. It just took two days, like I thought. It's two days from your start. So if you, like, let's say you've been playing since the last two alphas, uh, and you have an uninterrupted save, and you've been playing forever, or you just were playing forever from uh, alpha 16, uh, and then you come to this alpha, and let's say you're at day one, day 30. Then once you get to day 33, you get the thing, which is interesting. Not bad, uh, not bad at all. That's a nice system. Everyone, let's go into normal mode and we'll wrap up the video. Oh, by the way, I, I, I wasn't gonna, I, I thought really deeply whether I should, uh, whether I should record this or not, as it's, um, as my watch is upside down. I, yeah, I'm wearing my, uh, division watch, which is hard to see if it's right side up or upside down if you just slip it on your wrist. You have to pay a little bit more attention to that as for one, uh, the LED screen is off at all times unless you go shoot the button. Therefore, it has a beeping sound, which you may hear every so often. I don't get caught on my arm oh, here. Yeah, it also has, um, 
Uh, yeah, it also has the, I wouldn't call it the static wristband, instead of the wristband which you have like a belt buckle. Uh, this is um, a clasped, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and it needs to be adjusted by someone with tools in order for it to fit your arm. Um, 427, yeah, I probably shouldn't have recorded this, but anyway, I did it anyway, because I saw the update, and again, it's one of my more popular series, and one of my, and definitely my, besides the universe, um, most asked for series, so, yeah, I again, one of my more beloved series, and yeah, so, those are the reasons, uh, and then tomorrow I got, uh, I gotta do... Okay, tomorrow I gotta do a new game, which a developer sent me. I gotta do... Oh, not a new game. It came out in May. Uh, I gotta do... Uh, Combat Air Patrol 2. I gotta do... more. I gotta finish off the tutorial for Arthur Fire 4. I got to... Do more Mirror's Edge Catalyst and other things. Oh, as well as doing an announcement, announcement video, which I still haven't done it, and I needed to announce it a couple days ago. I've been hitting at it, but I just haven't got there yet. Uh, well, I guess two announcement videos. Want to announce DX Story. Want to announce my new, uh, well, my new partnership with TGN or PVT. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'll get to that anyway. All right. But anyway, so yeah, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Oh, that'd be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And do be sure to go, go, watching on this episode. It means a lot to me. Well, it means a lot to me to leave a comment. Thanks for joining the additions for this series. Like what, uh, like what you do next. And I'll play. Um, starting off in general, no tips news coming to figure out the old tip. And I guess, see you next week in the episode of Star Bayonet Alpha!